get cooking, cooking, cooking with Becky. Hi there, good morning. I have a really fun casserole recipe for you. It's actually one of my favorites because I absolutely love those chow mein crunchy noodles, you know? Um, and any way I can use them, I do. So this is a great casserole. Kind of like an old fashioned casserole, but I've updated it just a little bit. Cream of mushroom soup and ground beef and those crunchy noodles and lots of crunch, just really fun. So I started out with two pounds of lean ground beef and I'm sauteing that with a cup of finely diced onion, a cup of finely diced green pepper, which is just about one bell pepper diced up. And I'm also going to add some finely diced celery. So a lot of good crunch. About a cup or so of the celery. I usually go a little extra with the celery, maybe a cup and a half. Just want that to cook for a little bit, soften up those veggies a little bit. The recipe calls for two cans of cream of mushroom soup, which works really great with those with the beef and the vegetables. This kind of reminds me of the old-fashioned Chinese restaurants. Remember those? We're used to see those crunchy noodles all the time. And, um, you know, most Chinese restaurants are a little bit different, but I still get a craving every once in a while for that, you know, old-fashioned chop suey and things like that. Okay, let's get back to the ground beef and the onions and the pepper. Just let those veggies saute a little bit. They are going to cook again in the oven, so they don't have to be completely tender at this point. Now I'm going to add a cup and a half of water. We're not going to do any salt in this recipe because I've got a couple tablespoons. I do a two to three tablespoons of soy sauce, so that's going to be plenty salty. I'm just going to mix that around and get all the great drippings from the bottom of the beef. I also have one can of drained, either diced or sliced water chestnuts love those in Chinese food. I've got, again, getting back to my two cans of cream of mushroom soup right in there. It's going to be a nice big casserole, but the leftovers are great to have for lunch. You can smell that soy sauce. Okay, get every little last bit of that out of there. Stir that around in there. The next thing I'm going to add is two cups of cooked white rice. So this is like the whole meal. Maybe a salad. You don't even really need one. It's all in here. We've got the veggies. And that's what I love about casseroles. I call myself the, the queen of casseroles. You know, I, I kind of figure you got to be queen of something, right? So why not be queen of casseroles? I think there's just so many fun things you can do with them. I love them because, like I say, it's just all in there. Get this into a nice big casserole dish that you've sprayed. You don't want to be doing the dishes all day. Get every little last bit of this out here. Always coming up with new fun casserole recipes, so this is a, just a winner. All right, and then this is one of the probably one of the only casseroles that doesn't have cheese on top of it, but I do love a good crunchy on top. So I'm going to do lots of those chow mein noodles. You can get them in the can. Because I like lots of them, I'm going to just do quite a bit right over the top, maybe about a half a bag. And then this just gets baked in a preheated 350 degree oven until it's cooked all the way through and those noodles get a little bit brown. So it takes about a half hour or so. Come back with me and show you what's for dinner. Let me tell you, this is a winner. It's my chow mein noodle recipe. You can find it on our website. You can also pick it up at any Festival Foods. Enjoy!